Uh, Pat Zemer here with MagnaWave Office Hours for this Tuesday morning. Uh, glad that you're with me. Uh, I've got a lot of questions that have already uh, been placed in front of me, but if you'd like to talk with me about a particular question, text me your name uh, to 502-599-9722 and I will call you back. If I call you back today, if you uh, call me and we have a discussion, uh, I'm going to give you a sample of our new CBD product. Uh, for you to try, and uh, so that's what I give them giving away today as our as our gear, if you will, to the people who uh, call and uh, and talk with us. So I'm glad to be here with you this morning. And uh, if you can, if you have a question, just put it up. I need to bring up uh, the. Um, let's do this before we go into the thing. I want to talk to you about uh, something that we're pretty excited about. It's now available to our practitioners, <clears throat> but uh, MagnaWave and our training program, the MagnaWave certification program has been accredited by the American Association of Drugless Practitioners, the AADP. Now what the AADP is, is it's been around since 1990 and it uh, gives a board uh, certification to schools and practitioners or people who attend those classes and uh, pass the classes so on and so forth you could become board certified member of the uh, AADP the American Association of Drugless Practitioners they're dedicated to promoting an enhanced professional image uh, among practitioners of traditional and non-traditional therapies and methodologies since 1990 so it's been around for a long time. There's been some questions about it. And uh, so we are a part of that uh, uh, organization now. So if our practitioners would like to become members and board certified as uh, uh, natural, uh, traditional and non-traditional therapies, uh, they can do that. So it's the American Association of Drugless Practitioners. Um, they have a situation, uh, they help, uh, they have patient referrals, which is something that we do as well. Uh, they have licensed laboratories for non-invasive testing uh, for various uh, conditions so forth. Uh, they have consultations on how to increase your practice, state licensing board assistance if necessary, uh, professional liability insurance is available through the organization, uh, one-time fee, professional affiliation, and the AADP board certification certificate is available. In addition to those who take the MagnaWave certification uh, and get our certificate, they can also now get the certificate of the AADP, which is pretty cool. And uh, so that's available now and uh, you can uh, learn more about it. If you have questions, you can contact your uh, sales representative uh, or you can go to the AADP website. Uh, the, uh, and that's what it is, aadp.net and uh, you can apply for membership and so certainly you'll need to have your certification from MagnaWave if you're using MagnaWave as your uh, path to join the AADP uh, board certified uh, group. So that's what's going on with the AADP and we're pretty excited about that. And again, if you have questions about that, you can uh, post them in the Facebook page or you can, uh, like I said, give me a, uh, send me a text to the number 502-599-9722 and I will call you back and we can have a discussion uh, accordingly with regard to uh, those products and services that you might want to discuss. Okay, so that's the situation um, with the AADP, the American Association of, Drug Association of Drug Drugless Practitioners. I've had some questions in the last week and uh, people are, are interested in our B2 unit, which is what we call the brain and body, the MagnaWave B2 brain and body unit. Yeah, what it does, and I've got, uh, got one sitting here on the, on the table, it produces, it has uh, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different settings that are available uh, for you to use the device. And it, it puts a magnetic field. It is generating a Gauss-driven uh, magnetic field in what I call a particular cadence that is uh, sets it up for various frequencies. So the frequencies are available to um, provide relaxation for sleep, uh, to buy, to pro, and various levels of relaxa relaxation signals are available, our frequencies are available. There's another setting, and I'll pick it up here. Let me bring it up here and uh, uh, have it so I can, I can show it to you. So here's the device, and so it has delta, theta, alpha, beta, and gamma. The delta and theta settings are for relaxation and sleep. So if you want to relax, you can use one of those two settings, or if you want to use it as a sleep aid. You can also, it has a sleep 
uh, situation here where you can sweep the two frequencies. It sweeps through them, and uh, so some people like that for sleep and relaxation. Then the alpha is kind of like, let's get going stage. It's just a good, steady, uh, keep you alert uh, type of thing that people might use through the day or whenever you want to do it in the morning to get you going on your day. The beta and the gamma are for more intense situations. The beta kind of puts out a frequency to help you really focus and really go at, at something that you're uh, wanting to do. And then the gamma, is often used for meditation. The, the monks, they say when the monks meditate, they're in the gamma state uh, of, of frequency is, is where they are. And so that's what the gamma is used for. In the United States, we don't hear a lot about the gamma. You do in Europe and, and other countries where they're doing a lot of that uh, type of stuff. And so uh, that's where the gamma is used. Um, and But it has the five settings. So it is a PMF signal. It is putting off about 500 gauss uh, when it is being used with the pad, the paddle. It comes with a mat and a paddle and we'll soon have it available in our vibration beds uh, so that you can use this in association with the vibration beds as, as part of the product. Um, so it's, per, it's producing about, and then, it, I'm sorry, I missed one point. There is the continual uh, low PEMF that's going all the time in the background in addition to these frequencies. That could be run by itself or it, it runs in association with the various frequencies that are being uh, uh, put out when you're using it. Now, that's for relaxation, sleep, uh, focus, so on and so forth. But it is 500 gauss that's being delivered and which is about, oh, I'd say uh, 15 times stronger than what you get, <clears throat> excuse me, from a low power device like a Beamer or an Imers or something like that. So it is very strong as far as those types of signals. Now, with that said, if you had pain, back pain, and I've used it from back pain uh, or knee pain, ankle pain, whatever it may be, it takes longer, but you can put this on either one, the Delta of the Theta or the Sweep, uh, and put it on. It'll run for eight hours. You don't certainly don't need it for eight hours at that point, but you can put the pad on your back. You're receiving 500 gauss in a relaxing type of signal. That won't necessarily put you to sleep, but it is relaxing and it is good for that. Or you could put it on the alpha signal and you're also getting about 500 gauss uh, of delivery between the alpha and the continual background signal. So it is very effective for pain relief. And those are the settings that I would use if you're using it for that. The beta and the gamma settings are more, as I said, for focus. They actually are a lower gauss delivery with those two settings than the uh, settings for relaxation. So more gauss uh, with the frequency that's designed for relaxation is also very good for pain relief or using it for those types of uh, situations and conditions. I talked with a lady the other day and she was talking about that, how she uses this for her pain relief in her legs. And her sister does the same thing, who is confined to a wheelchair because of an accident and she still has pain and she's been using the device to relieve her pain uh, because of her of the accident that she experienced. So the B2, uh, as I said, the brain and body is available uh, for pain relief as well as relaxation and rejuvenation and focus. It's very effective from, from that perspective. So I just wanted to uh, cover that and discuss that with you this morning. If you have any questions, uh, put them in the chat box and uh, we will certainly uh, uh, address them for you and, or send me a text and I'll call you and we can have a discussion accordingly. So let me bring up here, there are some questions. Let me get Facebook up here to take a look at the uh, questions that may be there. I want to certainly answer them for you. Here it comes. Okay. Uh, question. Uh, wants to purchase a machine, maybe a couple to be able to demo to people. Oh, it's uh, John Stevens in Europe. Um, and he's asking some questions. Okay, that's fine. Let's see. Anything else? Keith, thanks for watching. Let's click it here and put it over on the side. Let's turn the speaker off. <clears throat> I just can't believe this internet. I'm so sorry that I can't, I can't even bring up Facebook here uh, on the internet to be able to, as here we go. Um, all right, 
Can you talk more about the CBD oil, the CBD oil, please? I've had multiple people ask about using that along with MagnaWave. Is it for humans and animals? Uh, yes, the CD, CBD product uh, will be available for animals and for humans. Uh, the animal product that we're doing is going to have a bacon flavor. Uh, so the, the pets seem to like that a lot, that you could put it on a cracker or you could put it on their gum, but it does have a nice bacon flavor, so it will be available uh, for animals, and it is certainly available for humans. In humans, we will have a berry flavor, a peppermint flavor. We have a sleep blend that you can take in the evening with some uh, other things added to it to help sleep, so you can maybe use the CBD and the uh, MagnaWave before you go to bed or the, B, the B2 unit and uh, give you some relief and help you sleep. It also has a morning blend uh, that is uh, made to give you some uh, pickup in the morning in addition to the traditional types of blends that are available as straight CBD oil. It will be available with no THC and with the minimum, I think it's less than 3% THC is allowed uh, in the United States at this point. So that's the uh, situation with the CBD oil. It also has a bomb uh, that, that, is, that is the bomb. This bomb that we have here that you can put on uh, for pain in your wrist or knees, whatever. Uh, I've had some people that had some plantar fasciitis this week that I've been dealing with, so I would treat them with the MagnaWave and then they would put the balm uh, on their heel and their foot and uh, the results that they've been getting with that are incredible. So it's, it's really neat to use it as a topical and let the MagnaWave, the pulsed magnetics, push the uh, help push the topical application into the joint area or wherever you may be using it. Uh, I've been using it, uh, got out, sat out the other evening uh, visiting with some folks and uh, the mosquitoes were horrible around my ankles. We were sitting in the grass and uh, I used it uh, to help relieve that uh, pain and to relieve the itching. So it's just very, very viable for many different things and many different ways that you can use the CBD product that will be available on our website very soon and again uh, it'll be available in two formats it'll be available for our practitioners who can buy it wholesale and resell it uh, to their customers uh, or people can buy it straight off the website and then it'll be available in a different brand called the victory brand which will be available for someone if you wanted to refer some people into the system that in a, a, ultimately with a few referrals you would receive your product for free is uh, kind of how that's going to work so there's two ways to be able to uh, work with the cbd uh, in our system one as a referral program to like i said again to uh, uh, get your product for free after a number of referrals or you can buy it at, at wholesale and then resell it to your customers or just buy it off the website if you just want to do that and uh, use it and go on down the road. So that's what's happening with the CBD. It's a green remedy brand that will be wholesaled uh, to our practitioners and then the victory brand where you can buy it and if you again want to be part of the referral you can do that and uh, uh, base ultimately get your product <clears throat> for free by earning a little money with it so that's what's going on with the uh, CBD product and uh, answering some questions there on the uh, B2 machine let's see here can you discuss um, warranty please I have to send my machine in for repair my three-year warranty just expired I was told there's also a seven-year warranty can explain uh, can you explain what each one's cover yes so the way the extended warranty works, the devices come with a three-year warranty. Uh, all you have to do is ship the device uh, uh, to the factory that's uh, fixing it, whether that's the PMF Solutions uh, factory or uh, PMF Systems for the Max and the Maya machines, so on and so forth. You ship the machine to the factory and they would repair it uh, on the three-year warranty. On the extended warranty, the way that works is you are you, your total expense would be a maximum of $700 out of pocket. So if you return your machine and they clean it up and repair it and it's $300, that's all you pay. Uh, if it's $1,500, you only pay $700. And uh, so you're covered in that respect that you have a maximum out of pocket in any one year. And because what we found is quite often, I mean, we could do this, we could have a warranty fee that we charge every every year and uh, we would make money on that because the machines just do not require that much that much upkeep and and repair 
So what we decided to do was let's pick a figure that in any one year, if you don't have any need for repair, then you don't spend any money. But if you have need repair, there is a maximum out of pocket uh, that you would spend as opposed to paying $500 a year for three years, pay $1,500 and need a $300 repair. I just don't think that's the best way to do it. So the extended warranty is call the office. They give you all the stuff that you need, the RMA number and where you're going to send the device. Uh, and what you need to put with it in order to send it and you send it in and, and uh, as I said you only have a maximum out pocket of $750 so uh, that's how the extended warranty works. If you have further questions on that you can call the office and they'd be more than happy to totally explain that to you and uh, get you that information. Great question. I hope I was clear enough in my uh, answer there. Um, so John wants to talk about the CE machines and that's great. Uh, we'll do that, John. Get, just give us a call. I think you've been uh, dealing with Elaine on that. Um, and uh, UK2, let's see what he's, uh, if he's talking about the warranty. Um, it looks like I was wrong on the number. It's $750 uh, out of pocket. All right, let's see. Um, got several people watching today. Good. I'm appreciative of that, considering we've had all the problems we have with the internet. Um, are you bringing the MagnaWave Roadshow to the UK? That's a great idea. And as a matter of fact, we are talking about uh, making a trip to the United Kingdom and the area to, uh, to visit with some folks and to bring the Roadshow to that area. So yes, John, that is certainly uh, on the table. Um, with, a high, with my higher power machine, I allow 30 minutes per session for clients, although often use it for 20 minutes. For the smaller digital devices with CE, how long would I need to allow the session on average? Well, that's a great question, John. On the CE machines, that's our digital machines, that would be the Simi 5, the Simi, the Maya uh, machine, and uh, will soon be the Vesta Dual will also uh, be CE. But those devices, depending on what you treat, the treatment times are the same. Now in the Simi, uh, you might want for some situations, if you're treating someone's elbow, for example, and you might treat it for 20 minutes, you're with a semi, you might treat that for 35 to 40 minutes if you wanted to get the maximum uh, impact from the device uh, when you're using it. But for a lot of indications, a lot of situations, the time is very similar on the digital devices, particularly when you get into the Maya. The Maya power is very similar to the higher power, higher powered machines and you really don't need any additional time uh, constraints or time used to get the results that you're looking for. The smaller machines, <clears throat> the certainly the B2 and the Semi, the, the treatment times are longer, but not always double, uh, but they would could be a little a little longer. I hope that answers your question, John. Great question. Uh, let's see, that's the uh, last of the questions that are currently posted on there. Unless I missed something, I'll check that. Let's see if we've had anybody to send me a text to call. Not yet. So if you'd like to visit with me, send me a text, 502-599-9722. I will call you back, and then we can visit, and I'll answer your questions. Other than that, if you have a question, just put it in the chat box. Excuse me, and I'll be happy to answer. Let me pop over here to some of the questions that I've received that I attempted to uh, cover last week. Wasn't able to get to them, uh, but I'm here today to answer some of those questions, and I'll, I'll do that. Uh, let's see. Can we treat someone with hemochromatosis, which is too much iron in the blood? <clears throat> well, certainly you can treat someone with that type of condition. What the device is going to do, and we talk about this a lot, is it's going to help the blood oxygenation in the body. It's going to help the blood flow. It's going to help the blood cells to be healthier and better in a, in a better environment uh, for their health. And so that would potentially have a, re, a, a good effect on that type of condition to help maybe control or, or any medication that they're taking for the, to control that, to enhance and help that process along. There's nothing that we're doing that's going to cause more of that to occur, more iron in the blood or anything like that. So the answer is yes, if someone has a, a hemochromatosis type of situation, you can treat them. If you want to go, if you go to the, uh, the MagnaWave PEMF International Education and Resource page and search 
various conditions, you can do that and you'll see where people have used the device to treat and as an as a, a enhancement to the health of their body for many different conditions. And you can go there and pull that stuff up. It pulls up research that's been done and a lot of different uh, things are covered on that page. That's the MagnaWave group. It's the MagnaWave uh, International PEMF Education and Resources group page and you can go on there and search. In the left hand top of the page there's a spot where you can search for uh, particular questions and indications. A person asks a question, they live in Minnesota, how cold is too cold to use their semi machine outside? Well, it, there is not a temperature that's too cold uh, to use the device. The cold does not really affect uh, what's going on with the device and there's really nothing in there that could be uh, troubled by uh, cold temperatures. <clears throat> Certainly uh, things become, if, if they're frozen, if you're in a condition that something is frozen or you know just so cold that it's frozen and you drop it that can make it more brittle uh, but as far as the function of the device in the cold uh, it's not an issue. We actually have more of an issue in the heat. The machines get very hot uh, there are a few elements in the machines that get up to 150, 160 degrees, and the machine is designed that if it gets too hot, it shuts off until it cools to the temperature that it is capable of working in. And so if you're in a, put in a machine in a hot car and it's 100 degrees outside and the car is 160 degrees and you get the machine out and you turn it on immediately and don't let it run through any of its cooling cycle, uh, then it could overheat and, and shut off until it cools off and then it would be able to be reused. So heat is a little bit more of a situation than the cold uh, at this point. So I wouldn't worry about it other than your comfort being in the cold in Minnesota. I uh, wouldn't want to do that uh, too much. I've uh, done it plenty of times where I've been where it's very cold in the winter time and rainy and there's a big storm coming across the country today then I'm sure it's going to be cold in a lot of northern places. So uh, that's the situation uh, with the cold. Um, any concerns treating someone that is catheterized and has an implant to stimulate the bladder? So here's the thing. If, if something is implanted and it has a battery as part of its usage implanted with it, then there are quite often contraindications to use MagnaWave or a PMF device around it because we don't want to run the chance of running down the battery. That's the biggest risk is to cause something to run the battery down or in the case sometimes they'll put a shunt. People have shunts in their brain or their head for drainage and various things and they're programmed, uh, computer programmed. And if you get a magnetic signal around it, it can change that and cause it not to work. So there are various implants that have batteries or are programmed that we don't want to be around. Now, if there's an implant that has an external battery or you charge it, you charge it every day or you charge it once a week, whatever the situation may be, uh, so now they're gonna blow off the sidewalks outside, so if you hear some background noise, I'm <laughs> sorry about that. But if, it, if it's a battery that is chargeable, and there are many devices that work in that way. I know I was speaking uh, with someone who has a, a, a Parkinson's disease. They have implanted uh, devices <clears throat> from Medtronic around their collarbone and they charge them. And so they are, uh, they are said to be uh, MRI compliant and that in other words they can use to have those devices and still have an MRI. Well if that's the case then they can most likely have a PEMF device for pain or whatever it may be uh, to be utilized um, with it. So implanted devices, you always want to check with the doctor, certainly, to make sure that it's safe to use it around it, to make sure that it is something that can be charged independently. I know there are some new pacemakers now that are, I forget, they're dual pole, uh, I forget the exact description, that they, we're told and certainly cleared with, doc, with a doctor whenever we've come up upon this, that as long as you're a foot or so away, that means you could treat someone's low back uh, if they had a pacemaker or their knees or their hips, not necessarily their shoulders because it's right in the area of the pacemaker. So there's a lot of various things today. They're making a lot of technological uh, advancements with many of these implanted devices. So it's always good before you do anything to certainly check with a doctor, understand uh, what's going on and what's the best way to use our device in conjunction with implanted devices. I hope that answers the question. Let's take a look over here at Facebook and see if there have been any 
additional questions. Um, let's see. All right, here we go. Will the B2 machine help with concussion issues? <clears throat> well, uh, PEMF therapy in general can be very beneficial to, uh, again, with medical clearance and doctor understanding of what you're doing, uh, because it's very conducive to reduce inflammation. And so concussions are an inflammatory state that occurs in the head from a blow. And so, yes, uh, it's conceivable that the B3 used under a pillow or in that type of situation could be used. I know that MagnaWave has been used in many different occasions in, uh, in uh, or instances where people have had concussion and they've used the machine on very low settings to penetrate the area and help with the uh, overall feeling of well-being and help with the inflammation reduction and the healing to enhance the body's healing capabilities. We're not going to heat, we, you know, we help the blood circulation and the blood oxygenation uh, to allow the body to better be in a position to heal itself. So, uh, great question and I uh, hope the answer was uh, okay. If you'd like to discuss it, send me a text 502-599-9722 and we will certainly uh, answer your question, call you back. And if you call me today or text me, I'm going to give you a sample of our new uh, CBD product for you to try. It's about a week's sample. If you do a, a milliliter in the morning and a, and a milliliter, uh, 10 milliliters at night uh, for a week, uh, that'll give you an idea if, if it's a stress issue or some pain issue, that'll be enough so you can see uh, if it's going to be beneficial for you. So that's what's going on uh, with, with CBD. If someone would like to have a sample, send me a text, we'll visit, and we'll send you a sample of the CBD product. Okay, let's see. Um, uh, let's see. When I use my machine over my head, one side lights up, suggesting inflammation. And how long, how often would you think it is okay to treat? Well, uh, that's a good question. Uh, we've had some folks with depression issues that we've dealt with over the years, and we've treated them daily uh, uh, to help them. Uh, and, and we really kind of fell into it. Now, the, the modality of PEMF is FDA approved but for a particular device for depression. And uh, they use it for autism as well. But it, and so they'll treat the areas. But so people have used uh, our type of device and others for depression. What we learn by treating, and it's much with the B2 or anything else, if you treat someone's back, uh, it's very relaxing to them when they feel better. And people have said, gee, I have a, a sense of well being. And for that reason, we have devices that have been put in opioid clinics where people are trying to get off of their opioids. And quite often they have pain or they have depression as a result of this whole process and the, the PMF does provide a sense of well-being and can help relieve some of the symptoms of depression. And so I would do it, John, uh, some people do it one, uh, twice a week, three times a week. I would certainly suggest that in that type of situation that you might treat yourself uh, five to seven days in a row uh, on a very low setting with the coil near the head or on the head, if you will, very low setting, comfortable for sure and uh, for five to seven days and then maybe every other day to see how it goes. Uh, if Remember, we always talk about treat as long as function continues to improve and then treat as often as necessary to maintain the plateau or maintain the function that you're looking for. In, in depression type of... Uh, one example is we had a lady that came to us and she was uh, depressed. Uh, clinically, it, she had clinically non-responsive depression. To, what that means is the electric shocks didn't work, Drugs didn't work, talking didn't work, nothing was helping her uh, to the point that the doctors were very perplexed as to what they would do next. And uh, she was really uh, severely depressed. And so she came and we treated her every day, five days a week. And then not over the weekends and over the weekends she would regress and then we'd start up on Monday. That got to the point that eventually uh, we treated her probably for almost a year. And, uh, and she got to the point that she was able to go back to work, uh, that she was smiling and just, it was just wonderful. And she ultimately uh, bought her own machine and she's in a position today, and I haven't talked to her for a little bit, but she was treating herself three or four times a week. She didn't have to do it every day any longer. If she gets into a de depressive state, then she will do it more often to move things along. So it's very flexible 
from from that position. <clears throat> so, and and as I was going to say, depression has been linked to inflammation in the brain, and and so this is something that helps relieve inflammation, sets the blood up to be better oxygenized, better blood flow, uh, helps the whole inflammation situation be improved, and thereby maybe re improving someone's depression or concussion situation or whatever it may be. So John, I hope that answers your question. Great questions. Uh, let's see. Um, Amanda, lots of great info about implant devices around. To oh, okay. Um, can't wait to learn more about the CBD oil. Well, good, Jamie. Uh, we're excited about it. Um, we have used it. Um, ourselves and it, it's a very um, good product again for people that have stress in their lives some people with depression will use it for that pain certainly people who have a chronic pain to use CBD uh, they found that they get some very good results I talked about the balm how it uh, uh, to rub it on how it in 15 20 minutes I mean it just it just relieves a lot of pain uh, in a lot of situations like that. So there'll be certainly more information available and uh, for you to learn more and several ways that you can participate with MagnaWave and the CBD oil uh, for your uses and needs. Let's see, any other questions here? I don't see anything else. I don't know if, let me kind of just back up here and see if I missed anything. Um, it looks like I think I got everything. Um, but if you have a question, put it in the old chat box. I'd be happy to uh, have a look at it and answer it for you. Um, or send me a text and I'll be happy to call you back and have a discussion. I always like to do that and I say this all the time, but I like to, uh, to have a conversation because quite often we cover more. If I just answer it, I answer it till I think, okay, I've answered that question, and I stop and go on to the to the next thing. But if I uh, if we're conversing, then quite often additional thoughts come in and additional things are said, and so we can just learn so much more uh, from that type of uh, situation. Um, there you go. John's coming over from uh, the United Kingdom. We're going to do some hands-on training. That's pretty cool, and we're looking forward to that and to uh, help things uh, go. Um, Oh, um, you mentioned in the past using PEMF in water. Let me see if, if I've got, oh, um, how is that done? Well, it could be, uh, it could be done in a couple of ways. Uh, it can be, you could put the coil in the water. I don't, I personally don't think that's the best thing to do. Or you could put the coil right near the water. So you put a, uh, a bowl or a glass or it, what it's used for in many cases uh, the device is very beneficial for seed germination and uh, it, the, the PMF is used for seed ger germination in, in various uh, agricultural type of needs and communities but and my granddaughter did a, a study of a science uh, project on this showing how seeds grow differently treated and non-treated and it was kind of amazing that it, it, there were more growth uh, with the treated seeds than with the non-treated seeds and, and more sprouts with the treated seeds than the non-treated seeds. But with regard to water, uh, and I said last week I was going to do it, I've got a, uh, a little white paper that explains and shows water that's been treated uh, before and after. And it just helps the, the energy of the water, I guess, would be a way, a way to say it. There is a, and I've experienced this and people have talked about it, but if you take a cheap box wine and you treat it with the PEMF and then you do a before and after type of test, it tastes better. It changes the alkalinity. It'll make it a little smoother and so on and so forth. So it, it does help in those types of of uh, situations and how you may use it. As a matter of fact, we're in the process of doing some research and talking with some people to maybe utilize the PEMF in the wine industry to help with some of the issues that they have with their water and, and the breakdown and, and so on and so forth. So it's pretty neat and we'll be uh, talking more about that uh, in the future. Okay, let's see. Another question here. When treating horses using the CINE, is it necessary to use the medium to high intensity when scanning and treating the body. Uh, uh, yeah, if you're, if you're scanning and you're using the, the uh, butterfly or the, 
the uh, paddle um, with the, or even the, the large loop. Yes, the, the, uh, the semi, because it is a lower power machine, I would think it would take the medium or the high to do a good scan to be able to see where there are uh, issues of sensitivity. I would recommend that you use the butterfly or the paddle because you're stimulating a smaller area of tissue. So you're able to go as you scan across the horse or even a person's body, you can find, you'll see with palpitation of the skin where there are sensitive areas. And you, as you move that butterfly over a couple inches, it stops. So you can use it to go around the body to seek out uh, sensitive areas and then treat those areas with the large loop or the wings. You could treat the whole shoulder, but you can, it's kind of, people like to know where is the sensitivity here? Uh, I've treated people's backs and then I come back with the paddle or the butterfly to kind of go over their back and look for, and we find it, where the origination of the pain is, where it's coming from, how it's referred, so on and so forth. So to answer your question, I would use the butterfly probably uh, the most for that, for scanning, and or the paddle. The paddle would work as well. Um, and move it over the body on a medium or high setting to find the areas of sensitivity. If you can do it with a medium, you're better because the higher setting with some situations will cause movement anyway, so or on its own. So we want to look for it to kind of show up. So I would recommend probably trying the low, the, the medium setting to begin with to do a scan. Let's see, she has more question here. Um, to, to see a lot of muscle movement. My understanding from certification training was to start low and if you increase and see more moving, movement, back it down. Uh, we need to kind of go over that a little bit. If you see movement, there's no reason to back the machine down. Uh, People see movement, and I and the story is what I've had happen is someone, let's say they're treating a horse's neck, and they're treating the neck, and they're getting a lot of movement, and all of a sudden they think, ooh, that's too much, that's got to be hurting the horse, turn it down. And what I always say is look at the eye. If you're treating a horse, you can look at their eye, and they'll tell you if it's too much. You can see it. It'll glaze, they'll, the ears are pinned back, whatever it is. But so you keep an eye on the eye and that tells you if, if it's too much. The other thing is if it's too much, they will walk away. If it's too much on a person, they will get up and walk away or they'll say, oh, that's too much. And, and so you, you back it down in that case. But to when you find movement, to back it down is not necessarily the thing that has to be done at that point. We look for movement to scan. We move over the horse, scan over, look for movement, find that, and then treat those areas in addition to other areas of the body. Uh, but you can take the device and turn it up to a setting that you cause movement, which is like a deep tissue massage. You're just massaging the tissue deeply, and as long as the, the animal or the person is comfortable with that setting, you're good. Now, that's not to say that you put it on just thump away at it. No, that's not the, the case at all. But you, you don't, if you see movement, you don't have to necessarily turn the device down. Work the area, work around the area and uh, to get good results. I hope that helps. Um, uh, and let's see here if we got, I'm out, just about out of time. So, uh, cause I do have another meeting to go to. Um, let's see, um, hey Ben, hello. John points out that, some, that someone told him that if you pulse fruits and vegetables for 10 or 15 minutes, it can help them last longer. Well, you, you think about it, you're putting energy into this fruit or vegetable. I don't know if it's going to, I don't know. Never thought about that. We're going to try that. Uh, I'll, uh, we'll set a couple oranges out and, and uh, pulse one of them and not pulse the other and, and uh, see what happens in the same environment. And... Um, uh, same situation that uh, they put they're putting up there in the new ebook uh, that we have available if you'd like to know more about my background about this business and, and how we have developed the business over the years it's 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 it tells the story about how we started what we've done what worked what didn't work and uh, it, it's a, it's an interesting uh, it's a quick read it's it's I believe it's I forget how many pages it is but it's not a long book it's a quick read but it, uh, it you may find it interesting and so the link is up there for you to have a look at uh, if you'd like to do that use apples John says okay I'll try it on some apples and oranges we're gonna do it on uh, on both of them uh, cut them open well, why do I want to cut them open? but I okay we can do that 
I'll do it both ways. I'll try to uh, do the whole thing. Have you done it, John? Have you have you tried this and uh, what kind of results? Uh, um, uh, have you done it? There's another question that someone just put up. Let me see if I can get it. Um, well, they were thinking they enjoy seeing the program. Well, we enjoy you being here and uh, watching uh, the program with us, and uh, we try to answer the questions that you may have. Let me just make sure that no one has uh, texted in here. I don't want to, nope, no text in, so uh, no CBD samples going out this morning, but if you'd like one, we'll talk about it. Um, anyway, I really want to thank you for being here with me today. I apologize for the problems we had at the beginning of the program. Yes. So at any rate, thank you so much for being with me. I look forward to being back next week uh, with you. I'm going to leave this afternoon. I'm going out to uh, uh, going to Phoenix. Um, all right, Phoenix. Yeah, going to Phoenix. Going to meet with the Cincinnati Reds uh, tomorrow. To uh, they've been using our devices and they want to know more about it. So thanks for joining. Uh, we look forward to you being with us next week. Have a great week and wave on for better health. Bye bye.